Welcome back to the news today. This is a one-on-one. -on -one. The Palestinian Authority move to join the International Criminal Court is seen by the Israeli government as an immediate danger that IDF soldiers could be persecuted in court for participating in future Israeli military operations. The Israeli army already has a system of internal investigation in place, which is being carried out most recently over the summer war with Hamas. But a question comes emerge. Can a body investigate? itself on sensitive issues. With me tonight is attorney Kobi Sudri, a former officer in the IDF's Criminal Investigation Department. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So the big question, can it? Well, theoretically, of course, and it's up to the standards of the particular uh, body which is inquiring itself. In the case of the IDF, I definitely believe that it can inquire itself because it's very professional, it's thorough, and most of most important, it's independent and impartial. How does it work exactly? Because, you know, I don't have to tell you what is happening and about what the international community thinks about Israel and what the international community thinks about the IDF soldiers. So how does it work uh, that you can actually convince the people out there that it is impartial, that it is a fair investigation. Well, first of all, you see that there are actual inquiries, investigations, criminal investigations, in which, first of all, there, are, there is a collection of evidence, collection of testimonies, including from Palestinian complainers or victims. And on the other hand, you can see that soldiers are being inquired and indicted and even punished. So who is in charge of, uh, of all this uh, process? Well, who's in charge is mainly the military advocate general. He's the one who's ordering the investigations. And you should understand that there are two levels of probe. The one, the first one is internal, in which there is a general, um, general uh, staff mechanism which holds preliminary examinations. And if it finds out that there were suspicion for a criminal act, it moves to another stage in which there is a, an inquiry of the military police. So after the military police and like you said the chief, let's say the chief of staff of the investigation is uh, in charge of this, um, is he um, obliged to give his report to someone that is examining this report or this investigation? Of course, and you can even find it on the IDF site. You can find the findings, you can find the recommendations of the MAG, the, the Military Advocate General, and you can find out that they are actual investigations and still we're waiting to see if there will be any indictments and trials. You know, th there were cases that uh, uh, the IDF found its soldiers uh, guilty? Of course, not only soldiers, even officers and even senior officers. I can even remind you a case, a very famous one in 1988 in the first Intifada, where in Hawara soldiers were ordered to beat Palestinians, and a high-rank officer was indicted, he was punished, and he was uh, dis uh, discharged from the army. So what is the, let's say, you know, Israel is really worried that uh, its, its soldiers will find themselves under international investigation. Um, what are the, the implications that we are seeing if a soldier goes out of the country and find himself being arrested and being brought to court. This is the, the, most, the most important thing that the, the Israeli army is afraid of because it will limit the opportunity of soldiers and especially of officers to travel around the world. Think, for instance, that a, a high rank officer, a lieutenant general, will arrive to England or to France or to Spain, and the minute he goes out of the plane, he would be arrested and indicted. This is, of course, something that everyone who's serving in the IDF doesn't want to experience. So let me give you a case. If we are seeing a soldier that uh, has a brilliant future in front of him, and he participated, let's say, in, in immoral acts during the war and the, the the officers are seeing that if they will indict him they will ruin his future 
how can you be sure that people won't <clears throat> try to round the, the, the table for these soldiers? Well, I can only hope, I can only rely on the past uh, and believe that the IDF system is honest enough, is serious enough to indict in cases that it's supposed to indict because it believed that the moral standards of the Israeli army should be and are very high. You know, what we're just at, the last case that we saw was an Operation Protective Edge where when uh, uh, the soldier was uh, kidnapped, the soldiers started, uh, Hadar Goldwyn, the soldiers just started firing all over the place and, and a lot of Palestinians were dead uh, in Presumably in 130 Palestinians, 130. according to Palestinian How reports. How do you start investigating this, this case? <laughs> well, this is for sure not a, a complicated case because it was a very complicated situation because here you have to check a judgment of soldiers and officers under fire, under life risks, and you know what? I think that the way that you check it is like in any other investigations. You have to collect the evidence one by one and then to try to come out with a resolution what really happened there. And this is not something that you can always do. And if it's something that you, you cannot always do and we are, and we know that let's say uh, the international community is not that uh, fair towards uh, Israel in any acts and sometimes it will be more pro-Palestinians than pro-Israeli, how you can start even investigating or how can they take a decision or say if it's right or Well, or I must or tell wrong. you because I hear many voices in the Israeli community which claim that we don't need to investigate ourselves for the word because no one will ever believe us. We're not doing it for the international community. We are doing it, first of all, for the Israeli society, for our moral image. If it, if it could help us in our relationship with the international community, it's very good. But first of all, we have to think about ourselves and about our moral image. Uh, um, what are the, the situations that you are seeing that are different from the past right now? Do you see an increase of the, the, the um, let's say, the IDF and the military needs to investigate itself? Maybe the military lost some kind of a moral code that it's finding that they are investigating themselves too much maybe lately? I think that it's on the contrary. I think that the IDF is very cautious. I think it's maybe even one of the most cautious armies in the world. I don't really know other foreign armies that are doing so many acts in order to criticize themselves and in order to prevent any mistakes. And I think that the Israeli army is a leading army in this field. But you know, uh, the, 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 let's say uh, the, the army of 50 years ago is not the army of today. And the things that the army are facing today is not totally not the same. So maybe the rules should be changed. Maybe something should be changed according to the time and according to the situation that well, is happening. Well, I, I think that the, the norms of the IDF totally changed during the last decades. The army is very exposed to criticism. It's exposed to the, to the media. And you know what? I really believe that the inner standards of army soldiers and commanders changed as well for good. Do you think that maybe the media sometimes in, is interrupting too much in the... You know what? In the job? I don't know t t if it's interrupting because media is something that you have to handle. This is part of the reality and you have to handle with it. You don't have to fight with it. I cannot agree. Uh, more with what you said. Uh, thank you very, very much, uh, Kobe Suri, for coming uh, to our studio, and thank you, our viewers, for being with us tonight. Tomorrow we will be here at the same time, same place from the Jaffa Port, Israel. Have peace. Have a great night.